In the last video, we learned how to add a new theme to a Drupal website. So we added a Symphony theme, which was compatible with the Drupal 8. So now you can see we have the default theme Bartik because we are focusing on a simple website, a basic one. So we are focusing on the default theme. So right now you can see the Bartik theme. So let's say you can see that on the front page, nothing is visible. So we will add some content to it in the form of a page. For that, go to content, click on it. Here you can see the section is visible for content. Here you can see from here we can add a content and right now no content is visible. After adding contents like pages, posts, you can filter it from here. Like if it is published or unpublished, you have saved it, you can check it from here. Also you can check the content time from here. That is, is it an article or basic page. Right now we are creating a basic page. So we will click on add content. Here you can see the add content section is visible. Here we can add an article like news press release or if you want a basic page like an about us page or home page content or front page, click on basic page. So click on it. Here you can see the basic page section is visible. For example, title, you can see here, here's the body, which content you want, the text format, on the left, you can see the sections like if you want to create a new revision and add a revision log message like you edited that paragraph on that date, you can add here and click save. Here you can see the author name which was a default admin amid 2016. Also it will show you that when you saved it, like you saved it on any date, it will show you the date. On the bottom, you can see the menu settings, click on it. Here you can see if you want to provide a menu link, you can easily add it. If you don't want, like if you want it on the front page, just leave it. URL path setting, you can also add an alias to it. Like if you want an, another optional link to it, you can easily add it from here. Right now we won't change it because we are adding a front page only. Next one is authoring information like who edited it. I created it. So my name is here, Amit 2016, which is the admin. Here is the date. And the last one, the most important one is promoted to front page option and sticky list. You have to select this option because we want this to be visible on the front page. So we have selected it. You can also select the sticky at top of list option, which means that whenever you will open your website, the admin section, this page will visible on the top in order. So after doing the changes, you have to click on save and publish. But right now add some title and content to it. We will add a default content to it. So let's add it. Here you can see we have added a title home here and we have added a default content to be visible on the front page. Here you can see other settings also for the editor. Like if you want to bold the content, you can easily bold it. If you want to add an HTML code, you just have to click on source and that's it. Here you can see the HTML code visible, P tags visible here. You can add other things also, other tags also. Right now we are focusing on the default, so we will leave it as it is. After doing the changes, click on save and publish. Also, you can click on save and, unpub and unpublished just because if you want to save your content and want to publish it after some time, you can select this option. Now just click on save and publish. Here you can see a basic page home has been created. Here on the home page, you can see the content is visible here. This is this was our front page visible. So in this video, we saw how we can add a front page to a website. In the upcoming videos, we will be seeing that how we can add an article, blog post or other pages like about us services to our website. Thank you for watching.